Good morning, Pirates. Today is Monday, January 10th, 2022. Happy National Bittersweet Chocolate Day, and welcome to the morning show. First, let's please stand for the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute the flag of the state of New Mexico, the Zia symbol of perfect friendship among united cultures. All right, everyone, it's Mr. Gonzalez standing in for Skylar Charlie and Ayesa Arriaga. They'll be back tomorrow. But for now, let's get going with today's announcements. First, recently, GHS students Alexandra Pazamonte, Jalen Cayadito, Angel Morlang, Noel Lundstrom, and Amanda Butler, who all qualified for round two of the University of New Mexico PM Foundation Mathematics Contest, competed in the next phase of the competition. We will bring you the results on how they did as soon as we get them, and congratulations to those guys. Seniors, today Mr. Sanchez will be emailing you a blank template brag sheet so that you may apply for colleges, scholarships, and trade school opportunities. This is a chance for you to share your accomplishments, civic and philanthropic activities, your contributions to community clubs and faith group organizations where you exhibited leadership and personal growth, and much, much more. Soon, you will ask your teachers and GHS staff members for recommendation letters and support letters to help you in this process. GHS students earn thousands of dollars in scholarships every year, so make sure to take advantage of this opportunity as you prepare for your futures. Today, the GHS Pirate Boys basketball team will be at Hope Christian, as all three teams will see action. Tomorrow, the teams will host Magdalena, so come out and support. This weekend, the Pirate Boys went 1-2 and two at the Gallup Tournament, with Isaiah Hernandez being named to the All-Tournament team. Sticking with sports, the GHS football team recently held its annual banquet, and Coach Brandon Hernandez handed out some awards to some of the team's standout players, and here they are. Mr. Angry Jack went to senior Tyler Heberhart. Pirate Player of the Year went to sophomore Larry Metter. The Golden Ore Award went to so sophomore Julian Padilla. The Offensive MVP went to Manuel Gonzalez. The Defensive MVP went to Joshua Wilcox, a senior. Special Team Standout, Noah Lundstrom. Best Overall Lineman, senior Xavier Arias. And Best Overall Skill Award went to freshman Andres Lazos. Good job, football guys. Sticking with football, Coach Hernandez has announced that the team is working out Monday to Thursday from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. in the old gym. Get to these workouts and get a jump start on next year's football season. Mr. Romero, the school's yearbook advisor, has passed on the following announcement. Seniors, schedule your cap and gown photos with Kenneth Brown Photography as soon as possible to be included in the yearbook. The deadline is now. Don't miss this opportunity to have yourself be in the yearbook on this very important year. Juniors, now is the time to pay your $50 class dues in Mr. Otagon's room or with Mrs. Turley down in the front office. Class dues go to pay for the prom setup, it's a graduation requirement, and much, much more. So get your dues paid as soon as possible. February's right around the corner. That means that any students that are wanting to participate in the 39th Annual Mount Taylor Winter Quadrathlon as a four-person team have the opportunity to be sponsored by local community members. That is, they will pay for your entry into the race. They will also provide equipment to you if you need any. A team consists of a biker, runner, cross-country skier, and a snowshoer, and the race takes place on February 19th, 2022. Please see Coach Stephanie Gaines for more information about this. Any student athletes interested in joining track and field this year, there will be a preseason workout today in the old gym, starting at 325. Track coaches say if you need to come out and get a jump start to the season, get out and get involved as the season begins very soon. Also, preseason baseball workouts will start back up today at 4 p.m. at the high school baseball field. Coach Furby says bring proper equipment and dress warmly. The season starts on Monday, January 31st. That's only three weeks from today. Softball 2 has started preseason workouts, and they run every day from 345 to 445 in the old gym. 
tryouts are three weeks from today and they go from January 31st through Wednesday, February 2nd from 3.45 to 5 p.m. at the softball field at Wells Park. You must have a physical and a 2.0 GPA with no Fs to try out. If you have any questions, please contact the email address you see on your screen. The GHS Morning Show brought to you by the Angry Jack Productions and the students of the broadcasting classes. And as always, we are GHS for success. Have a great Monday, Pirates, and a great week.